God said I should send a warning to the world powers especially the world powers the United Nations I see where United Nations is completely dissolved United Nations being dissolved then I put my eyes there I said what, what is causing the dissolving of the United Nations and they said the set of the people that are there now are not doing their proper work I begin to ask what is the work they're supposed to do God say the work they are doing they are not actually putting their eyes down to look into the trouble of the whole world so United Nations uh, right there in uh, Geneva or wherever they are having their headquarters God say I should talk to them they should quickly as quick as possible to quickly do something for the world if not I am seeing United Nations being dissolved and I begin to ask the questions why this thing dissolved he said because of the escalate the escalate of terrorism all over the world especially that of Africa and also that issue of Nigeria especially when it comes to the people in Nigeria and the death of people and how people are crying every day United Nations will quickly do something or God is about to dissolve them why because I am seeing in the realm of the spirit where God said they are not doing what they ought to do they should stand to the challenge United Nations should stand to the challenge and look into the world and bring back peace to the world. Even though we know that peace cannot permanently be in the world because the devil, the enemy is already in the world causing havoc. But they need to do the right thing. Let the right thing also be done. Let them not shy away from the right thing that's supposed to be done. So this is why God is already warning United Nations to quickly, quickly rise up to the occasion and face the challenge of the whole earth as a whole. Because the earth is in trouble, especially when it comes to terrorism and when it comes to also to, to the climate change and every other thing that is happening. The issue of COVID-19 and the issue of people, you know, sitting at home and joblessness and poverty upon the face of the earth. Because you see the whole world, as you look at the spiritual and the physical, you see the whole world. The man is the problem of man. Man is the enemy of man. And this is what the devil is also cashing in through the governance of the mankind to trouble man. And the reason why you see people crying from one place to the other to the other is because they are not giving the people what ought to be given to them. So God is not happy, and God is speaking straight away. United Nations should quickly rise up to challenge, rise up to the occasion, and do the right thing. Mankind is a problem to another man. I see in the realm of the spirit where the United Nations has been weakened. We cannot have a body that put the world together and that body will not rise up to all this insecurity, all this challenge. If you look at a country and you see this country, they are not capable of managing their problem. You can come in and help the country to organize and to know what their problem is that the world may have a better place for the un uh, unborn children that is yet to come or for the people that need to you know, live in the world and enjoy this world before the end of time. Nobody knows the hour or the day, but God who knows it all knows that before it comes, people need to be touched, people need to be reached. That is, by the way, God is never sleeping and God is never mute. And God is ready, willing and able to see as many that will also be ready, willing and able so that he can use them to, you know, salvage mankind. Salvage mankind. So this prophecy is something that is clear. United Nations should quickly rise up to occasion or to challenge. If not, I see in the realm of the spirit, dissolve, 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 dissolve. So may the Lord help and take over and do the thing that is need to be done. My God is the God that seared the end of the world from the beginning. I am not serving a God that, uh, is, that is a God of, uh, of, of what is called a uh, 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 blind or mute God. You know, when we talk about being a child of God or a servant of God, it depends the kind of God you have believed in. Some believe in the God that is made with hands. Some believe in the gods that is made with rings. Some believe in the gods that is bought with money. Some believe in the gods of the white man. And some believe in the gods of their forefathers. But uh, to many, as many that believe the Jehovah God of Abraham, God that made the heaven and the earth, the God that all powers belong to, uh, uh, the God that when he opened the door, nobody can close it. 
the God that when he say yes, nobody can say no. That is the God I serve. You know, uh, when it comes to the things of the spirit, uh, I am so confident, so much, I am so much confidence in the God I serve because uh, he is the father of all spirits. He is the God that made all spirit to be. He knows the end from the beginning and he sees everything. If uh, by the grace of God, as a servant of God, uh, he can show me few things, not even all, the whole things in the world. He just show me few things that concerns me or things that he wants me to know to say. And I know them and say them and they come exactly as he said it. How much more he himself? And so every one of you, wherever you're watching, we are returning all the glory, all the praise, all the worship, all the thanksgiving to the creator of mankind, to the creator of the whole universe. Once again, without taking much of your time, I am still your prophet, uh, prophet Dr. David King Leo Elijah, the major prophet of God. You know, for a few days now, I, I have been on the Vira. The Vira is uh, the prophetic message that is coming from the throne of grace. You know, every message that cometh from above is above all. At the point, Jesus wants to express himself to the people so that they will know the level of his grace or the level of the power or the level of his anointing or the level of what he is capable of doing. He, he, he said to the people, he that cometh from above is above all. When they say he that cometh from above is above all, means that all the satanic forces and all the demonic attacks, the, the, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the evil people, the people that are trying to oppress, the people trying to manipulate things, try to use every method to turn things upside down and use their own brain to operate. Jesus said that he that cometh from above is above all. In other words, Jesus is above all.